Hello folks, welcome to our channel. Today we are going to see how we can use lambda functions and S3 bucket to create thumbnails automatically. Say for example you have a S3 bucket and whenever a an user uploads an object into that bucket, it might be in JPG file, it might be in PNG file and you want to convert it into multiple different formats for different devices, for example mobile or tablet or your laptop screen, you want to create them in different sizes. So you need a function which can scale automatically for the number of objects that are coming into your bucket and create those different size images. So in this demonstration, we are going to use a lambda function which will get triggered when an object is added to an S3 bucket and then it will store the files in different locations in another bucket. So let us call it as a source bucket that will trigger a lambda function and the lambda will create the images and put it into the destination bucket. I have written the code that is necessary to do this into an cloud formation script and I have written some helper scripts so that you can go ahead and deploy it in your account without going through all the process of setting up an IAM roles, lambda functions and event notifications. Let us go ahead and see how we can do this in our account and the first and foremost requirement here is we need an S3 bucket where we can host our code which will get deployed through the cloud formation templates and I'm going to have my bucket called as SAM templates 011. If you don't have a bucket, go ahead and create a bucket and we will use that bucket for uploading our code. And right now you can see here as of now there are no cloud formation stacks and likewise there are no lambda functions in my account. So let us get started. The first and foremost step is cloning this repository into a local laptop or any computer where you have a CLA configured with credentials to perform a deployment of cloud formation scripts. So copy this code, clone it locally, cd into the directory and you will have all the files here and the next step is you need to go into the helper scripts folder and inside this folder you will have a couple of files. We are going to use the one which is called as deploy.sh because we are going to customize it to let the script know where my code is going to be residing and for example here is the bucket name and as you can see here I have used sam template 001. If you have another bucket go ahead and put that and save this file. If you want you can change the region where you want or if you want to use another profile I'm going to use the default profile. If you don't want that if you want to have another profile which is called as name uh, saying test account production account go ahead and change the profile. So these are the things that you need to change. If you want to change the name of the stack you can go ahead and change them in the service name but in this case I'm going to call it as serverless thumbnails creator. So I'm just going to leave it as it is because it's in my account and the code is ready. Just going to save it and the next step is I'm going to run this now. I'm just going to add execute permission chmod execute for helper scripts. I'm just going to call them again now. So it is auto completing now and my stack packaging is initiated and after my packaging of my stack it will be uploading the code repository into uh, the bucket that we created and once that is done it will trigger the initiation that is the cloud formation was triggered now. If we go back to our console now we will see a cloud formation script has been triggered and it will start creating the buckets and lambda functions for that. So let us go to our console and see what is happening there. So let us refresh our screen and we can see here there is a stack creation in progress and if I go to my events I will see all the actions that are taking place. Let us just fold it so we have a bigger screen to look at. So you can see here there is an event processor role that is an IAM role required for that a lambda function to run is getting created and there is a target bucket that is getting created. If I go to my S3 buckets and if I refresh my screen, I should be able to see the target bucket and in a short while my source bucket will also be getting created. So let us refresh this. So it is still in creation progress and then there is an event trigger that is whenever an S3 object is added an event trigger uh, will also be need to be done and the permissions for the event trigger is created. So you can see here the source bucket or source event bucket creation is in progress. If we go to our S3 and we can see here there is a source event bucket is also created and if I go inside my bucket and go to property section and I scroll down here under events you can see here active notifications and there is a lambda function also. So my lambda is also created so I'm just going to go ahead and choose functions and we have our in event processor function and it has all the necessary roles, privileges, permissions and the code is also attached from our bucket and it also has the event triggers also add attached. So it's still not attached. Let me just refresh my screen again. So it's still on the progress because you will see a event trigger from the S3 bucket that will be attached here. 
just going to go ahead and refresh my stack completion. Creation is complete. So everything is done here. So only thing that we need to see is if I'm going to duplicate this page so that we can open the target bucket also. So you can see here, this is the source bucket and this is the target bucket. And as of now, both of them are empty. So what we are going to do is now, now we are going to upload a big image, which is going to be chopped up and created different sizes, say for example, a cover image or a profile image or a thumbnail image. So let's go ahead and upload some images now. So I uploaded one image here, which is called as Galaxy Serverless Security Group Sentry. Let us go ahead and upload another image. And this image is called as WG Crowd Trail 100. Let us go ahead and upload it. So by this time, my Lambda should have triggered for the first one and it should have created the thumbnails for the first one. So let us go here and refresh our screen. And we will see here three different directories are created under cover. You can see here the image has been created and you can see the sizes of them. This is about 9.5 KB, whereas when we uploaded it, it is about 34 KB. If you download it and see them, you will find all of them are uh, created in different sizes. So for example, you can see here this is slightly bigger. And if I go to my thumbnail, and the, I mean, this is all in different smaller sizes, bigger one, little smaller one, and the tiniest one. If I go to my Lambda, and likewise, if I go to my logging section, and if I see my log execution here, and it will clearly show me what was what file was processed. And you can see here, this file was processed. And likewise, there is another information which says this file was processed, and this Lambda execution took about three seconds. So what we have basically done is we have created a serverless thumbnail creator which can scale automatically when more events are happening and when it is not doing anything, it is not going to cost anything other than the storage. All of the th stuff that we have done is written as a cloud formation script and all you have to do is just go ahead and deploy it and try it out in your account. So the best practice is going to clean it up. I would recommend you to go ahead and delete the cloud formation stack and clean up the environment. If you have any problems in trying it in your account, go ahead and put them in the comment section. I'll be happy to help them with you. Thanks for watching. Happy learning.